it, Chris. Yeah. Well, I was born in Dixie in a boomer shack, just a half a mile from the railroad track. Holler on the driver was my lullaby, and the freight train whistle taught me how to cry. I got the freight train blue. This is Chris, and I'm Jess, uh, and it's a pleasure to be here. Um, thanks to uh, Strathmore and the Artist in Residence program for having us and featuring all of the alumni of the Artist in Residence program. Presently, we are watching about a 10-second delay of our Facebook selves happening right at us, so I'm sorry if we're a little awkward. Can we... Can I talk to Chris instead, Chris? Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um yeah, learning about technology. It's a good good thing to do. Um, that first one was the Freight Train Blues. And now we're going to do uh, one. We're going to do this one for Betty Scott, who is a fabulous woman and who runs the Strathmore Air Program. This is one that she really loves. And so this is for you, Betty. This is Billie Holiday's God Bless the Child. That's God shall care Them that's not shall lose So the Bible said And it still is news Mama may have Papa may have But God bless the child That's got his own That's got his the strong they get more while the weak ones fade empty pockets don't ever make the grade yes mama may have mm, and papa may have oh god bless the child that's got his own it's got his own. Oh, money, you, you got lots of friends. Crowding around your door. Yes, when it's gone and you're spent. Won't go. 
which relations give Cross of bread and sash You can help yourself But don't take too much Yeah, mama may have Ooh, baby, where well, your papa may have And God bless the child that's got his own relations give they give the crust of bread and sex you can help yourself but baby I don't want to find that you're taking too much yeah mama may have mm, and papa may have oh God bless the child that's got I can't help but uh, think of all of the grants that the Small Business Administration is giving to incredibly large corporations <laughs> right now uh, when, I, when I sing that song. Um, but y'all, I am optimistic and things are going to be looking up. Uh, yeah. Chris, how about we do one of your songs? What do you think? Adorable. We are, we're matching in pink, which is pretty fun. <laughs> I love pink. Oh, so many people. Okay. Uh, what were you doing again? Neighbors. All right. Uh, this is a song about neighbors um, and playing music on a front porch. Um, and in the current situations, I miss the former category, but luckily I still have plenty of the latter. Uh, this is a song called Neighbors Don't Mind My Fiddling at Night. to look around no more I got all I could ever ask for Cares rolling round across the floor <laughs> In a home full of love with an open door Things work done and I'm feeling alright Pass with my baby by the candlelight Kids in bed
a squirrel down there With a front porch swing and a fire out there Get the kids to school with the lunches on pack And an old bed I wouldn't trade for a Cadillac Day's work's done and I'm feeling all right Thanks, everybody. Oh, you're loving my fiddling tonight. Oh, you can, it just feels so present that you just hear it. <laughs> I think those are auditory hallucinations. You might want to get it checked out. <laughs> well, I hope you're loving some ukulele music. Uh, if this happens, so far the Strathmore Ukulele Festival is definitely still on. Um, that's in August, and both Chris and I will be teaching at that assuming that it happens. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep staying at home, wearing our masks, mm -hmm. and then come learn to play ukulele with me and Chris this summer. It'll be fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to do one now that I wrote. I wrote this one, I don't know, uh, just this past year. And so it's pretty new. It's pretty fresh. Uh, both the last song you heard, Neighbors Don't Mind, My Fiddle in at Night, and this one, it's called These Things Will Come, are going to be on our next record. And we have the record already completely recorded, actually. And we're in the process of making plans and making moves to figure out how to release that to you during the pandemic. We had planned to release it this fall, and we are actually trying our best to stay on schedule and get that music in your, in your hands and your ears in your hearts. It's a really great, it's, it's going to be a great album. So if you want to learn more about that process that we're doing, um, find us on social media. Um, we're called Bumper Jacksons. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on all the things. So here we go with that. Yes, we are. Hi. Okay. Hey. These things will come. Can you all, I really want to know, can you all hear our children like gallivanting upstairs. I feel like they decided that it was time to play horse. Tell us in the comments. Give us like a thumbs up or something if you can hear our children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, They're also, all here with us. Chris, can you switch it back so that I don't see a delayed version of us? Oh, Is that but this possible? way we could see the comments. Okay, that's all right. Okay. okay. We're, 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 okay, we're well, all coming back. <laughs> this song will come. This song will come. How many hits does it take for a soul to build a blockade? Well, then what must we give her tear it down? I don't want you as my enemy, but want to seek to understand. I want to eat at the same table and make a home in the same land. These things will come. Prayer of Saint Francis, alone by 
banjo out. Let's play a banjo one. Okay. So after this song, we have been commissioned to do a little question and answer session, and I'm really excited to see what kind of questions y'all might come up with. So send them along in your comments, and yeah, dig deep. Honestly, the sillier the better as far as I'm concerned. But in the meantime, Chris is going to tune up his banjo. Chris is a really wonderful old-time banjo player who plays in Knock County style. It's not free finger style, and it's not claw hammer. It's a really unique style of banjo, which is really cool. And I'm getting on my washboard, my washboard, which I made um, a few years back. And I'm going to come up and show you some of this because there's not really an intermission. You can't really just like walk up and see the instruments on stage. But um, yeah, here, check this puppy out. We've got uh, bells and a little tin cup, a rub board that I made a hole in by playing this thing for a long time. And these are straws wood blocks from the Institute of Musical Tradition. <laughs> oh, I'm going to read a comment. Damn, Jess, this mother slaps. We should not curse on the Facebooks, on the Strathmore that, Facebook that's page. That's not a curse. That's not a curse. We're going to play a song for you. Here Slaps. we go. This, <laughs> this is called Hop High. Okay. <laughs>
Lulu gal Where have you been so long? Ooh, I've been in a pen with some rough and rowdy men And baby, I'm going back again getting to be at home making music um i feel really lucky as a musician to live with uh such a wonderful guy and a guy that i get to make music with Aww. i also have to say it is very fun performing gigs where you get super fancy on top and i know the rest of y'all are on zoom calls wearing like no pants and stuff like that but will you please show the audience one of the shoes that you're wearing <laughs> you can just take your shoe off but these have been like Chris's go-to. I have no idea. These are Chris's like monster shoes that he got Ugh. right before the pandemic started. And we are super happy about it. <laughs> All right. We are going to answer some of y'all's questions. Oh, let's see. All right. We want to give a little shout out to Shelly and Beth for... Uh, for sending us some of these questions. Oh, do we have questions? We do. The family is dancing. Woo! All right. Here is, okay, here is one question from Betty Scott. Can't wait for the new album. What is it called? I'm pretty sure we're going to call it uh, after a title track called I Dream of Bluer Skies. Or we might just call it Dream of Bluer Skies or Bluer Skies. If you think if you think one of those is better than the other, tell us. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about what you think. Somebody start a poll. 
but so the it's a very optimistic, happy album, and it points towards a brighter future. So I Dream of Bluer Skies is a good one. All right. This one is from Carolyn. What's been your fave way to make magic during quarantine? Ooh, that's such a good question. Well, I will say this. Chris and I are uh, lucky enough that we have three beautiful kids. Liam is 11, Monk is three, and Eva is almost six months old. And I got to say, being with our kids constantly is really magical. I mean, also very hard. <laughs> it is horrible and beautiful at the same time. All it's the parents can agree, I'm sure. All of the things. Yeah, if mm -hmm. you know anyone you're in your life that is working and also a parent, send them some love. I guarantee you they need it. But I think just getting to make music and make food with our kids is incredibly magical. Yeah. I made some horrible bagels the other day. They were terrible. But we make pancakes in our family, I would say, about every other day, especially with Liam. And we put food coloring in them, and we make two different little squeeze bottles full of them. And we pick a letter of the day, because Monk is learning his letters. And we make designs out of those pancakes in multiple colors of things that start with that letter. For example, for the letter C, cats and cars and carburetors. And coronavirus. Yeah, I messed up a son really bad, and we called it the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another. Here's some more questions. From Cynthia, do your children like to sing or play with instruments? Yes, they do. Uh, we've probably got all of them singing, even the little six-month-old, just as soon as we all start singing. She's almost like um, a puppy dog or something that wouldn't howl along to the music, except she just makes very loud, happy noises at the same time. But uh, my oldest boy, Liam, like he's definitely getting to be a really good singer. Uh, really likes musicals. He can hit all the key changes cold. Pretty impressive. Better than me. Yeah. All right, here's another one um, from Betty. How long have you been performing together and how did you meet? Aww. Chris and I have been performing together for almost 10 years. And the iteration of the Bumper Jacksons that is just us as a duo is, yeah, like nine years old. And um, us as a full band, I hope one day that you all get to catch us as a full band iteration if you haven't already it's five or six it's a five or six piece band um we've been playing together for like six years yeah just about yeah and we're oh my god when this pandemic is over it's going to be such a joyful noise when we yeah. get all back together yeah and jess and i met playing music if you could guess i know totally unexpected <laughs> but uh thanks for the softball betty do we have any other questions in there? We do. Let's do a couple more questions and then play um, one more song to send you out. Uh, Michael asks, where did I get the wooden frogs for my rub board? And so I'll throw a little pitch over to the House of Musical Traditions. I'm sure they are not an essential business, but maybe you can buy stuff online from them. Check them out. House of Musical Traditions. They're in Tacoma Park, Maryland. They're fabulous. And they have actually a live stream concert series as well under the name Institute of Musical Traditions. They're related. Richard, um, who is asking some more questions about the washboard, but I want, Chris, I want you to answer Lisa's question. Is there a story behind your banjo style? Oh, yeah. So um, I kind of fell backwards into the, into the style. Um, honestly, um, so I was just starting to pick up bluegrass music because I had – so uh, I, I'll go ahead and tell the long version of the story. L long version of the story is I started playing music because I was sad and angsty as a teenager. But then I went to college, and I started getting happier and started playing happy music. So less Radiohead, more Grateful Dead. Uh, but I, the thing that really drew, uh, drew me into that band was really the acoustic sets where they were just doing bluegrass covers. So then I learned about bluegrass, and I got myself a banjo. I started kind of picking out Scruggs style, but then the janitor for my dorm heard me and invited me to play music with him. Um, he didn't know how to play the banjo, but he was from western Kentucky – or sorry, eastern Kentucky, and just described me and told me when I was doing it wrong or right. And then I – turns out I – 
what I thought was the correct way to play the banjo was the only way I knew how banjos got played. Um, ended up being this really regional style from Knott County, Kentucky. Um, one of the patriarchs of that style that's uh, you can find a lot of source recordings for would be like George Gibson. Um, but you can see a lot of, you know, modern folks like uh, Brett Ratliff over at Apple Shop Records. You know, he's a great player and I picked up tunes from him. Um, and he's from like right around Whitesburg, Kentucky. But yeah, so it's kind of like up picking. It's a little bit like backwards claw hammer, but it's a really fun way to play. Oh my gosh. I think our living room is going to be destroyed when we go back up there to see what's happened. All right, we, there was just a couple more questions, and then we are going to get back and do one more song for you to close it out. But Richard was asking a little more about my washboard and whether I'm it... I'm going to check on those kids real quick. Okay. Um, I think they're exploding. We'll find out. <laughs> um, Richard was asking a little more about my washboard and whether it was um, all my idea or if I got um, influences from other people. And I've gotten a lot of my playing influences from a lot of people, especially in New Orleans. That's where I learned how to play music um, in about 2009, uh, 2010. Uh, but the frog idea, which I think is the most unique part of this board, um, that actually was Chris's idea. And he, he made my first washboard for me. I've gone through a couple of different iterations because this happens when you keep playing it. And... Um, yeah, we hopped on bicycles and started touring when I was a, yeah, washboard player with little frogs on my washboard. And then there was one more question from Gary. I bought us some time. <laughs> who asked, what is it like to perform with Daryl Davis? Which I love that question because Daryl Davis is such a fabulous performer. I hope he's doing some live stream stuff. If anybody knows about that, please post in the comments. But um, we are full band, did a show at Strathmore Amp earlier this year in January um, with Daryl Davis as our special guest, and it was wild and fun. He is a phenomenal boogie-woogie piano player and a consummate performer, and also just like a really fabulous guy and a fascinating activist. So if you don't know who Daryl Davis is, as soon as this show is over, you have a mission and that is to Google Daryl Davis and find out if he's doing any live streams and check that man out because he is incredible and his life story is incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, let's do Soft Place to Land, Chris. Oh, okay, sweet. We're going to do another song now that Chris wrote, actually quite recently, and I think it's really beautiful and a good, a good song for these times. This one also is going to be on the new record, um, that's going to be coming out as soon as we can find a way to make it happen. As I'm sure uh, this is true for most of you in your lives, everything has become a little more uncertain. And in some ways it's not okay, in some ways it's really okay. So, Actually, this song is about that. This song is about um, finding those little centers that stay constant when everything else is kind of stripping away and is so not constant um what what holding on to that thing that little tiny spiritual center you know as things kind of fade and shift and change yeah soft place to land in 
Thank you all. Tune in next week on the Strathmore page at the same time for Josanne Francis. And to if you have kids, tune in on Saturdays because there's some great kids programming too. Oh, yeah. Ta-ta for now.